In this video, we will solve uh, orderly queue. So let's see the problem statement. It says that uh, you are given a string s and an integer k. And we can choose one of the first k letters. So if you see this example, b a a c a, k is 3. That means uh, among the, these three letters, the first k letters, you can pick one, one of these and move it to the end. So this is a string and let's say this length is k. We pick one of these elements and we are allowed to move it to the append it to the end of the string. So this letter from here will be gone and it will be appended here. So a new string will be formed. You, you are allowed to do it uh, infinite number of times. So as many times as you want. And after that you have to return the string which is lexo lexicographically smallest. So if you see this example, uh, we have B A A C A, then the best string, the smallest string that we can get is triple A B C. In fact, uh, if you sort these, you see that uh, this is all the letters are sorted. And here K is three. But uh, can we always sort uh, the string? the letters of the string. Let's see. So if we have let's say uh, BCA and the value of K is 1. So this is the smallest possible value of K. Uh, so in this case you have to pick one letter among the first K that is first one letter that is the first letter itself. So you can move this B to the end so you will get CAB. If you again move this C to the end, you get A, B, C. Again, it's sorted. But let's take another combination. Let's say we have C, uh, B, A. Now, if we move C to the end, we get B, A and C comes to the end, B, A, C. Again, if we move B to the end, we get A, C, B. Now, if I move A back, we will get C, B, A, which will be back to the original string. So after uh, n rotations, we will get back the original string. So in the case of 1, k is 1, we got ACB and it seems we cannot get a smaller uh, string. So we will return ACB. But when k is more than 1, it seems we can always sort the letters of the string. So we can return sort s and then return the sorted value. Now uh, let's see why we can always sort uh, the string if k is more than 1. So first let's understand, uh, let's take this example b a a c a b a a c a. So here k was 3. So uh, you should uh, realize that a larger k is powerful than smaller k. Why? Because let's say k is 2. Then you are allowed to pick one letter out of first two letters in the string and move it back. If k is 3, you can pick any letter from first three. So these first two are also included. So you can do whatever. So you can always do what you can do with k equal to 2 with k equal to 3. But uh, you cannot do that with k equal to 2, what you can do with k equal to 3. So uh, let's take the weakest case. So if I prove for k equal to 2 that we can always sort the letters of the string, then that should be possible with k equal to 3, k equal to 4, all the larger values of k as well. Because in the k equal to 3 case also, you can always ignore third letter and pick one of these. In fact, with larger k, you can do that even quicker, but k equal to 2 is the weakest or the worst possible case in which uh, can we sort the string or not. So let's take a general string. Let's, let's see here. So let's say uh, some part of the string is already sorted. Let's call this part as 1 this substring as one. So we have a string S which is composed of, let's break it into two components. So let's say in component two, it's not sorted. 
let's uh, take some realistic uh, characters let's say we have z uh, followed by w followed by p so it's decreasing in this order the same we can do with just two letters also but let's take a bigger case and then uh, let's say there is another segment there are more characters after this and that segment two so uh, first i will using k equal to two uh, i will sort this part so similarly uh, for any other place where it's violated the sorting is not done we can repeatedly do that so let's say this part is okay to the left of jwp to the right of it we have not not explored yet if they are not okay we will repeat the same process but we have sorted the string till this part one so what we can always do with k equal to two is uh, we can follow what we did with k equal to one so keep moving one character at a time to the end one character at a time to the end so ultimately we will reach a place where this entire substring one is moved to the end so we have here z w p so we were picking one character at a time so this was c1 c2 c3 so first c1 went to the end then c2 after that then c3 after that so their ordering remains same so now z w p comes in the beginning and then we have this after immediately uh, p we have two so we have this two and then this one now what we can do uh, we can pick the smaller among these two z w so smaller is w so we will do z p two one and w is pushed back again uh, pick the smaller and uh, move it here so w p and then z and later put z here so uh, it was z w p and then we can move uh, two here shift one by one so we have one w p z two so here p z is sorted only this part is unsorted so again move it uh, like this uh, w p z 2 1 now the smallest among these two is p so move p to the end and then 2 1 and p comes here again uh, now pick the smallest that is w now now in fact it's done so just move w and z to the end so it will be z 2 1 p and w comes here and then move z to the end so it's 2 1 p w z now move all the elements of 2 to the end so that we get back to original state 1 p w z and 2 so we got from this 1 let me clear it so we got from 1 zwp to 1 pwz and we said that we have we have already sorted till uh, all the characters in this first substring that is 1 and now this pwz is also sorted so we can extend this solution now next we will find again the place where it's violated and again we will repeat the same thing so you see that even with the smallest uh, even with k equal to 2 we can do this so we can do with larger values of k as well since uh, k equal to 2 is a subset of k equal to 3 in the larger case also we can pick just two characters and uh, we have already seen what happens with k equal to 1 with k equal to 1 we have to try all possibilities like uh, we had here uh, cba so we keep track of minimum string initialize to original string and if by moving it to the end we found a smaller string keep that so cba initially it cba then we move c to the end we get bac bac is smaller than cba 
so now we update s min to bac then we move b to the end we get acb now acb is smaller than bac so we update s min to acb and now if we move a again it will be c b a we will get back to original so try for all the n, n characters and see which is minimum and return that and for k larger than one simply sort the string and return that value so let's write the code for this so if k is more than one then sort s and return s else we will have one uh, s min string initialized to s and so what we are doing s equal to s dot sub str so take the substring of s from first character till the last character since the first character will be going to the uh, from second character till the last character and first character will be going to the end so it's in zero based indexing so sub str starting from second character and plus s zero the first character is appended to the end and then we compare with s min and after uh, this s dot length uh, times uh, moving the first character to the end we will get back the original string so no need to do it again and then we can return s min and the two cases are accepted let's submit and the solution is accepted